Ever since Dimitri and I moved out of that freezing basement we were living in, we've been dedicating ourselves to having a smoothie bowl every single morning and it's been a lot easier, like having heat and a robe and slippers and all these things. In the 88 square foot space, we really couldn't have all of that stuff. So I've been having a lot of fun having this super lazy breakfast, which is just a smoothie bowl, just strawberry, bananas, and blueberries, and some homemade peanut butter granola and hazelnuts and hemp seeds. So I mean, I always have something different in terms of toppings, but like, I absolutely love this meal so much. Hey everybody, it's lunch time. <laughs> so, okay, feeling lazy, right? This is what I did. Last night, I knew we were gonna have rice for lunch, and so I was like, you know what, let me just make more rice, and then we'll have the leftover rice the next day. So that's the first thing that I'm doing. And actually, I am going to, I thought I was already sauteing this. Okay, they're telling me to put that, the lid on, but I just wanna show you my old rice. A lot of people have issues eating like leftover rice. Um, but what I like to do, right, is put a little bit of water in there and then I'm gonna actually break this all up and smash it down on the bottom. And I'm gonna just hit saute on my Instant Pot and it's gonna be what it is. Um, it comes out good in my opinion, but a lot of people don't like how leftover rice tastes. I don't really care. So over here on this side, I already have some um, onions and red pepper sauteing and then I'm actually gonna cut up this um, yellow pepper and a zucchini. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna saute it with some chickpeas and some tahini sauce and some like some some delicious brine that I'm gonna make and it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna see the end result, but this is like one of my favorite lunches and it only takes less than 20 minutes. So the trick is when there's a little bit of liquid left, like maybe about three tablespoons, you add the most glopping. Is glopping the word? The biggest glop. Okay, the biggest glop of tahini on the planet, and it just gives you like this like creamy goodness. Oh my god! She is a happy gal. Do you see her? Oh my god! What do we have? Rice. Leftover rice. Bam. We have onion, um, yellow pepper, red pepper, zucchini, uh, chickpeas, and tahini with a lot of spices, and one cup of liquid for all of that and it gives you this gorgeous bowl. Can't wait to dig in. You guys, I'm dying right now because Dimitri's coworker just sent us, both of us, it had my name on the package. I was like, oh my God, I feel so included. Some vegan cookies, like vegan chocolate chip cookies and they're freaking astounding. I had one full cookie so far. I have like a cavity that's unchecked so I can't be having sweets, but it was so delicious. The chocolate part is really good and the cookie part is really good and I had a little bit of almond milk so this wasn't planned but it happened. Look what I'm having for dinner. Burnt tofu. <laughs> so anyways you guys I'm gonna have this sub. It's with some tofu that I made and tomatoes, red onions, and some spinach and guess what? Mayonnaise. You're welcome. So let me tell you guys something. Trader Joe's um, came out with their new mayonnaise and it's disgusting. Guess what though, I'm still gonna eat it. And um, pretty much I might end the night with this, um, but also I'm lying because I'm probably gonna have a cookie. <laughs> Con mucho amor, bye! It's honestly the fact that I was gonna leave without saying bye to you guys for me. I'm just ready to eat, you know what I mean? Um, so I wanna say thank you to all my patrons. Thank you so much. And I wanna say thank you guys for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video.